Hi and welcome, welcome to Arts and Wellness Wednesdays. Um, welcome to the studio. How have you been? It's really great to have you join me. So, what are we going to talk about today? Um, I wanted to look at, and I've, I guess I've spoken, I continually, <laughs> continually, Ellie, yeah. Um, speak about the way in which we can use art as a tool for healing. Um, this is called Art and Wellness and it is about how art can improve on our health and well-being and how um, you don't, there's, there's different levels or variations so you know you could be a participant, you could be you know actually in the art doing the art or you could be somebody who is watching somebody do the art or you could be somebody that's you know um, walking around a um, gallery space or a museum and looking at the art on the walls and or <laughs> you could be so not only in a gallery space it could be in a, a hospital a hotel or a, um, a place of business where art is being displayed so there are varying ways in which art can impact on our health and well-being um, and for me what I prescribe is that we all partake in some form of the arts to improve our own you know health and well-being mental health as a matter of course as something that we do on a daily basis there shouldn't be a day that goes by where you don't partake in N not only one but even more you know not just one but more yeah I, I, I think that's probably why I enjoy working with mixed media because it enables me to work with so many different um, supplies tools and uh, mediums and bring them together if I want not if I don't um, and it enables me to express myself in whatever way that I want to for that particular time because sometimes um, painting a picture for me doesn't necessarily um, what I'm trying to get out is not necessarily done or um, done effectively say with paint but I might decide that I don't want to use acrylic this time but I want to use the pastels because I want to really get in there with the, the dirtiness I still have this issue with the dirtiness of the pastels but um, I've worked through that. Or what I've been doing at the moment is fabric. So I've not only painted on the fabric, I've stitched in the fabric and I'm using fab different fabrics brought together and, um, and then adding beading. And this is enabling me, I mean, you can see that piece behind, behind me, but this is enabling me to not only just, um, to, to use many different mediums so that I can um, express myself in the way that I want to express or um, you know you see different things in the art that you may not necessarily see if you're using acrylics on a canvas so um, I'm going to be doing a mini um, not workshop but just show you how you would use the fabrics and connect them to your art journal because what I've been I've been working a lot with fabrics um, at the moment as I say painting on fabrics but I still love doing art journaling so what I try and do is kind of bring the things back and connect the things back together so that you can in your art journal create textures you can use the stitching you can stitch on the paper or you know have the fabric on the paper and stitch you can glue a stitched piece into your art journal and um, again express yourself in different ways why limit yourself when you have these things at your disposal you know if you um, if you're looking at the art journal you may want to make your own art journal if you don't have uh, certain supplies you can use recycled things and I will show further down the line how you can not today though but and I do have some videos of how you can make your own journal, even using like Christmas cards or cards, gift cards. Do people send those uh, much now? 
but um, using card, um, using cereal boxes, you can create your own painted um, papers and painted cards and then create an art journal from that. But what I want to show you today is how you can use the tiny scraps. So in the video, I'll show you this. Oh no, you're gonna have to hold on. Um, because I have to, I wanna finish this. But in the video, what I'll show you is, yeah, this is going to be, this is a full bag and it's, I've now finished with it. And um, what I've done is brought together some of the scraps that you will see me, sh me show you and how I've kind of brought them together and created um, another piece that can either go in my art journal or it can go on top of another fabric stitched and you know made into a larger image and even just smaller scraps that you can take so you'll see these strips and what I've decided to do with them is you know make um, start the makings of a design this is an old um, my son's old school uniform and I've just been using bits of it over the years um, the, the shirt from the school uniform and um, these can be dyed these can be um, you know painted on which I've done here um, with some of the strips but here all I've done is just some simple stitching so what I want you to take away from this, because I want to spend more time on the art journal and show you the art journal, um, but what I want you to take away from this is that you can utilise so many different types of art activities. And, you know, finding your one, finding the one that you really like, is just about you going through and spending time. So it's worthwhile doing that. So I want you to do that, and I want you to maybe look and see what kind of scraps you've got that you can then join in with this particular um, activity that I'm going to do next. And um, next week what I'll do is show you me taking what we've made into and, and creating a portrait, an image, see what kind of image is coming out. Um, quite an intuitive way of working. We'll see what image wants to emerge from the background that we've created. But it's also, these, these things are also kind of quick ways in which you can just get yourself immersed in a creative activity without much, um, without many tools or supplies. And then, I mean, you can still use the supplies if you want to, but this is one of the basic ways in which you can, without any excuse, do something creative and start the ball rolling and start the ball rolling with um, you just playing with supplies and playing with tools and seeing what you have around you that you can um, take and you know bring together in this creative activity so as I say I want to now get on with the art journal and um, yeah it's, it's great again to have you here but let's spend some time playing with the um, art journal and some of the scraps that I've got to put in the art journal. Um, what I'll be using in there is some um, baby wipes and uh, the dryer sheets. So when you add, and if you look at that, it's just using, it's just mopped up color from, um, you know, when I've been painting, or you can add color to it and let it dry and then utilize it afterwards but it's a nice texture to work with especially when you're working with paint and um, it glues quite well as well so we're going to get on and um, let me know what you think if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do and i look forward to receiving your comments okay come on let's go hi there hi so i wanted to show you a quick exercise that you could do um, <laughs> if you've got the supplies and um, these supplies are really inexpensive so what I've been doing I've been playing around with fabric and I've created over time I've created on um, 
what are they? Uh, you can either use dryer sheets, this is a dryer sheet, or you can use um, baby wipes. Um, and one of the reasons why I had baby wipes in the studio was that I found that you can paint on them and obviously use them as cleanups, use, useful for your hands and um, uh, they come fairly, they're fairly inexpensive. But what used to happen is sometimes the packets used to dry out. So rather than, you know, waste them, that's it's fabric of sorts and you can utilize it. So I would make these, just see if you can see it really clearly. They're so pretty. But um, so what I would do is either like um, some of these have been where I've cleaned up the paint this one I actually kind of spray painted it and then I added um, this is a fabric paint but it's like a, a, a metallic fabric paint and so a simple design can um, create something really pretty so all I'm doing now so yeah so all I'm doing now is taking some of these scrap pieces that I've had left over and I had it in this this little bag I had all these little scraps um, that I'd used over time and some of them see again it's all painted fabric um, if you don't have fabric that's been painted you can just use um, uh, scraps of other material if you don't have scraps of other material go to your um, charity or thrift store and look around at the different fabrics um, sometimes they have uh, like you know fabrics that have been sent by manufacturers um, or just look at the clothes you know the clothes are, are cheap enough so look at some of the items of clothing the women's clothing are more kind of patterned you find more variation in pattern but look at some of these clothing and look at um, and see if there's something that you may be able to get from there and also look at sometimes you can get um, beaded on fabric and so that's also useful because you can take the beading off and reuse them and you may be able to use a fabric in some other way but it's always it's, it's very useful to be able to do it so amongst these bits as i say you know i've utilized fabric in um different activities and these were the ones that were left over so this is um a baby wipe that was used to c clear up paint a lot of paint and as you can see you know it can get quite expensive if you're you know when you're cleaning up all of this paint then would have just gone in the bin if you were I mean before I used to throw them in the bin before I realized that oh my gosh no I can actually reuse this if not in my journal I can use it on a fabric piece and I showed um, last week some and I'll show you this one where I've used pieces that I've painted on fabric that I've painted on so this these strips here this one here is a glitterized if that's <laughs> a word but as you can see they can be incorporated in a lot more um, you know more not complex but more um, other projects that you want to use it in and you know here's some other fabric I've used stamps on it I've used um, on this one I just used the shimmer mister so you've got splashes of color so all of these I was doing batik um, and as I straightened it up this was a pieces that I've cut off so all of these as small as they are can be added to other projects so don't throw them away because you've got not only got um, you've got paint on them and um, you know you don't want to it's it, you don't want to waste it basically <laughs> some would say you're hoarding but I wouldn't I would say that you know you can you'd be surprised how when you're making some smaller items and actually that might be something that we can do when you're making smaller items like little mini brooches or things like that necklaces some of these can come in handy this was just this was tie-dyed um, but why throw this away because this can be the start of something that you're putting together you know and it can also be a therapeutic activity 
yeah look uh, this is cami leather that I was experimenting with but when you start putting them together and then you apply stitching and you apply beading you can actually have some really lovely pieces so today all I'm going to sh to do is I wanted to re um, reconnect my art journal um, reconnect with my art journal using the supplies that I've been using at the moment which is a lot of fabric I've been doing a lot of fabric work so I thought what I would do was add some of the pieces of um, baby wipes sorry that I'd cut out strips and just add it to the page and what's happened here is that where the pieces have been painted the or you know have paint on them the paint then is coming out into the PVA glue so all of this yellowing is from the fabric that I've added to the page and so it doesn't have to be this particular activity as I say I just really want a way to reconnect back with my art journal so I'm just you know getting strips so these are pieces like I'd cut out shapes out of it and then used it um, so I'm just looking for any of the smaller pieces of the um, baby wipes not any not not these particular pieces of fabric so I'll put those ones to the side and um, and as you go as you go along you'll be surprised how much material and stuff you start to collect it just kind of like grows um, and then if you're dealing with you know like scraps and pieces then it's just like it's never ending but sometimes what I also do is I say to myself okay I've got this bag of scraps I'm just going to do like cover a page with it and then that will be a jump off point another time or I say I'm going to make a whole load of little, you know, mini wall hangings. Um, and and sometimes, you know, it then, usually always, they kind of just develop into something more. So I think I've taken out, oh, maybe not. Okay. I oh, know that's uh, cotton. See, this, this is so, see, this is, that's really pretty and um, incorporating that into an art journal in some way would be really nice and then you kind of just build on it you could like build a scene so I was just adding to this um, particular page and all I'm doing is getting my PVA glue and applying it to the page and then getting a strip and then just adding it there and then adding glue the glue on top so that it really sticks nicely um, and these bits that have been cut out I'll just cut them up into strips so it just makes it easier to add to the page rather than trying to add you know an odd shape okay and then this one And this in itself is like a, you know, a therapeutic activity and you've got to find activities that, um, that maybe, you know, be, maybe are the start of your day or the end of your day that you can just, you know, maybe just think about things or, you know, unwind or allow yourself to... Um, I was going to say drift off, but not necessarily drift off, but just think about, um, just immerse yourself in this, like just thinking about, I could just be thinking about the colours that I've got on the page. Um, I'm excited in, in a way that um, this is similar to the way that I add I start a journal page if I was just using paint I would add um, 
just bits of colour to the page. I would use different maybe supplies and I would just add colour to the page and then seek out an image because an image or shapes um, start out as shapes they always seem to find a way to um, make themselves known and uh, it happens all the time so I just go with the flow of it now this this page was just blank but now it's got you know it's got texture it's got color and then I'm going to be adding more um, texture when I add the I'm going to be using gesso as well because I use gesso um, to help mark out well because you're using the um, PBA glue then you'll need some of the gesso um, so that if you're gonna then add paint so as you can see this this page is just coming together and uh, what we're going to be doing next week is finishing it off because I know that we're not going to necessarily finish it this week. I just really wanted to start you off on a um, a piece that you know you can run with, and um, and then next week I'll show you how I would finish it off. So you have to let it all dry. I don't like using. Uh, heat dryers I would rather leave it go away and then come back and um, that it's dried naturally so as I say this is a nice way to kind of use up um, things that you may not normally have used before like um, So you may not have used or thought of using baby wipes or dryer sheets in your artwork or in your journal. But um, again, there's so many things that you can use to create tex texture. So why not utilize it? And especially as a mixed media artist, it's just like, well, for me, it's just like you are going to make the most of everything because you'll be surprised at some of the results that you may have. And I like the difference between the drier sheets um, are lighter and, and not so... Um, I like the difference. Uh, they hold the paint slightly differently, give you a different effect. So as you can see it's coming together nicely and I've only got this bit left so you know you never have to throw <laughs> you don't have to throw anything away but um because there's so much there is so much you can do when you're using recycled material or when you're recycling the material rather so I kind of just use these um, simple exercises like this as just uh, part of my morning routine. So um, when I, especially when I've got other things that I need to do, I like to do something like totally different from the things that you may have to do, things that I have to do. There's a bit of thread there. That's the other thing that you can create some really nice pieces with, and I've um, I'll be showing you at some point that as well. That you can just use. So this is totally different from what we've got there. Um, you can use threads and make some really nice pieces. So. If you are getting into stitching and uh, then think about 
when you cut off the pieces of thread, just put them in a bag. Look, I've got a whole bag full. Let me say there's some wool in here as well, but it started out just as threads. And I've made um, a couple of pieces. I will share that with you at some point. A couple of wall hangings, actually. Okay, so as you're going on, it's important to add the glue to the top as well. And I've just really got this bit down here to do, which these pieces should be able to do. Just add in the PVA glue. Okay, so I've oops it's all over me i finished um adding down the edge and um all i'm going to do is go over it just to make sure that all of the pieces that i put down are well stuck down and they're not going to come up and um after this is dried so what i'm going to do as i said i'm going to come back um next week and i'm going to show you how i would work on this page i like as i say as i said did i say that before um i like the things to dry naturally and then this just gives you time to come back you know afresh and what i would rather do as what i'd what I like doing is then working on another piece of journal. But I just wanted to, um, sh again, show you that, you know, all of the scraps that you might think, oh, no, I just want to get rid of them. They can actually go and be part of a lovely piece of art. So, you know, even like these pieces, you know, um, on their own, they're too small to do something, but together, they can make the start of a really nice wall hanging and you can just work through them. I mean, you're always going to generate scraps. Um, and I guess what I like doing, which is why one sometimes that's why I do this, is that because they build up, you just want to work through and say maybe do a page um, in your journal. And I've got another page that I did that with. I haven't really done much with it, but this page, it's its using heavier pieces of fabric. I started doing a, a, a kind of image here, um, but I wasn't feeling it, so I moved on, and maybe I'll come back and do something else. But um, that's how I used up a lot of, some of the fabric here is jeans, jeans scraps that, um, and you know other african material um my son's old school uniform um that over time i've utilized it. i don't think i've got very much left of it um but especially if you've kind of used fabric and you've painted on fabric then you know these pieces could make such pretty you know smaller wall hangings or smaller like a brooch or whatever it is and if you apply stitching as well it would look amazing so um yeah you can kind of say to yourself okay i'm going to use the same type of fabric like uh, these are uh, uh, school uniform shirts that over time i've painted and um used in in the backs of some of my wall hangings because when you've got a larger piece you know, it actually looks quite nice. And as I say, when you add stitching, it can be amazing as well. So I hope that you found that useful. And um, actually, it'd be nice to see what scraps you've got going on. And as I say, you don't have to, if you haven't got any painted fabric, go to your thrift store, charity store, and see what types of materials they have there. And you can utilize them by, you know, finding designs on the fabric that you might like. So I look forward to working on this and seeing what I can, I've, I've already, I can already kind of see an image, two images coming out of here so far. So um, yeah, I look forward to working on this and really just needing to allow it to dry because the paper's actually quite saturated. And what I could also go in and do on this as well 
is add some stitching if I wanted to um, but we'll see yeah we'll see how we get on or you stitch a piece of fabric and then add it to here because what I find sometimes is when you use when you've used glue on fabric and you're putting it through your sewing machine it can sometimes you know get on the needle and you don't really want your sewing machine clogged up unless you've got more than one and you can use one for your paper crafts and uh, one for your stitched fabric pieces okay i'm going to leave it there um look forward to hearing what you do and come back to next week's arts and wellness wednesdays and we'll see what we do with this to move oops, excuse me to move it on okay take care for now <laughs>